Alabama erased a year-long bad memory by beating top-ranked Florida 32-13 to to win the SEC title and a shot at a national championship. The Crimson Tide's victory comes one season after the two teams met for the conference championship, and Florida won it 31-20 to on its way to a national title. Playing in this game last year indirectly was a lesson that we all learned. I think we also learned that when you play in championship games, you can pretty much assume that the other team's going to be pretty good, and you can pretty much assume that they're going to have resolve and they're going to want to win the game, and it's going to take an undying, relentless, not to be denied attitude to be able to be a champion. And I think we learned that last year, and I think that's how we played in this game, and I think that's why we won the game as a team. But there were individual standouts. Heisman Trophy hopeful Mark Ingram rushed for 113 yards and three touchdowns, and sometimes maligned quarterback Greg McElroy was 12 of 18 for 239 yards and a score, outplaying Florida star Tim Tebow. Regardless of individual success, this game was about Alabama against Florida, and um, you know, a lot of people hype it up to be, you know, individual matchups and things like that, but that's not what it was. It was about uh, having the heart and the determination to, to get the job done. That's what we were able to do. Obviously, um, this is not how we wanted to, to finish um, our season in the SEC, and, uh, you know, there were a lot of goals and a lot of goals we won't be able to accomplish, but, um, you know, it was frustrating. Uh, to say it wasn't would be a lie, but, you know, we still got to regroup and, and go have a good bowl game. And, that's what our, our focus will be. The former Heisman Trophy winner was 20 of 35 for 247 yards and a score, but Tebow wasn't able to get that vaunted Florida offense on track. Part of the reason was that McElroy and the Alabama offense had the ball for nearly 40 minutes and rolled up 490 yards against the number one defense in the country. That helped the Tide improve to 13-0 and and head for the BCS title game. The loss ends Florida's 22-game winning streak and hopes for a third national title in four years. Jim Militello, The Associated Press.